Merci beaucoup, mes amis. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for being here, and thank you, Peter, for that kind introduction. I'd like to acknowledge Minister Mahaychuk, who you'll hear from shortly, and of course, uh, our Member of Parliament for right here in Davenport, Julie Zerowitz. And a special thanks, especially, uh, to Sheldon Taylor and the Do Dovercourt Boys and Girls Club for having us today. Thank you very much, Sheldon. And uh, thank you all, kids. Today is a very special day for me and for our government. Today marks 100 days since we were sworn in. And as you all know, we've been busy. We were elected on the promise of bringing real change to Canada and to Canadians. And have we delivered? Well, you tell me. We followed through on one of our central campaign promises already. We cut taxes for the middle class by asking the wealthiest to pay a little more. This move puts more money into the pockets of everyday Canadians. The plan was grounded in the belief that all Canadians deserve a real and fair chance at success. Our government understands that a healthy economy starts with a strong and growing middle class, and cutting taxes is good for families, good for communities, and good for the country. I was also extremely proud to introduce our gender-balanced cabinet to Canada and to the rest of the world. Why was that important to me? Oh, because it's 2016. Les ministres Bennett, Haidu et Wilson-Raybould sont en train d'élaborer le cadre qui sera utilisé par la commission d'enquête sur les femmes et les jeunes filles autochtones disparues ou assassinées. Cette commission d'enquête a trop tardé. Les communautés autochtones exigent des réponses et méritent que justice soit rendue. Nous avons fait preuve de leadership à l'échelle mondiale en accueillant des dizaines de milliers de réfugiés syriens dans nos communautés au cours des derniers mois. Tous les paliers de gouvernement ont vraiment travaillé ensemble. Nos premiers ministres et nos maires ont partagé notre vision d'un Canada solidaire et accueillant. Ces nouveaux Canadiens enrichiront encore davantage nos communautés. Il est inspirant de voir à quel point les Canadiens individuels et en famille se sont ralliés pour les soutenir. C'est d'ailleurs, et ça a toujours été, la force de notre pays. Our government has also made important investments in innovative industries like regenerative medicine and clean water technologies. These critical investments will stimulate the economy and create the jobs of tomorrow today. As we know, innovation is key to building strong, resilient, forward-thinking communities. We can and must do more to help innovative firms that are working on new ideas and technologies. We're very proud to support Canadian industry and innovation as ways of growing the Canadian economy. And that's not all. Far from it, in fact. We've committed to reopening the Kitsilano Coast Guard base. We've restored the long-form census. We've introduced legislation to restore fairness and balance in the Canadian labour policy landscape. Friends, these are just a handful of our achievements after just 100 days in government. I'm very happy to announce today yet another example of the kind of real change we're bringing to Canadians. I am pleased here to be here this morning at the Dovercourt Boys and Girls Club to announce that our government is creating over, uh, uh, over 34,000 summer jobs for students this year. Through the Canada Summer Jobs Program, we're investing up to $113 million more to help more youth get invaluable work experience. This means that employers will be able to hire nearly 70,000 students. That's up from 34,000 students last year. Our government will continue to provide this funding for the next three years, because the needs that our young people are facing in terms of unemployment, in terms of the need to develop work experience, the need to get good summer jobs, is massive right now and will continue. Le chômage chez les jeunes persiste à un niveau élevé depuis la récession et beaucoup trop de jeunes n'arrivent pas à entrer sur le marché du travail. Notre gouvernement a été élu sur la promesse de répondre tout de suite à ce problème et c'est ce que nous faisons. Après des années de négligence, les jeunes peuvent être assurés, le gouvernement du Canada 
est un ami et un partenaire pour vous à Ottawa. Nous voulons aider les jeunes comme vous à trouver de bons emplois, à bâtir de belles carrières et à réussir. Il est tellement important que vous fassiez entendre vos voix pour bâtir et façonner ce pays. Et le programme d'Emploi été Canada est formidable parce qu'il fait beaucoup plus que juste donner de l'emploi. Il donne la possibilité à des jeunes de se mettre au service de leur communauté. One of the things that I made a priority for me uh, when I became Prime Minister, but indeed uh, throughout my time as an MP and even before, uh, was to engage young people. That's why when I became Prime Minister, I turned to my Minister of Youth and told, wait, I'm the Minister of Youth. I turned to myself uh, and told me that as Minister of Youth, uh, we needed to take seriously our responsibility to give young people the tools and the capacity to succeed. That means investing in our future, absolutely, but it also means investing right now in young people, not just as leaders of tomorrow, but as leaders today. And what we do by allowing 34,000 more young people to get better summer jobs is not just impacting on them and the experience that they're going to carry through, uh, through the rest of their schooling, through the rest of their career, to give them a strong head start and experience. It's also having a real positive impact on the community organizations and the communities that they'll be serving. Their hard work at making a difference in our local economies, in our communities, is going to have a significantly beneficial impact for all Canadians. That's what we have to understand about empowering young people, is that yes, we're building a stronger future for them, but we're also building a stronger present for everyone that they work for and touch with their experiences and their hard work. That's why investing in young people is so important to me and why our government is more focused than any other government in the history of Canada has been on building opportunities for youth and creating a stronger future. We know that summer jobs are critical for helping young people get the experience they need to start their careers, to pay for their studies, and to build self-reliance. But with this announcement, tens of thousands of young people can get started in moving up the career ladder, and not only is this good for them, it's good for the broader economy, now and in the years to come. I'm very excited about today's investment. Great things happen when young people are given an opportunity to shine. I believe it because I've seen it. By investing in young Canadians, we're investing in all of Canada, we're investing in our present, and we're investing in our future. It's now my great pleasure to introduce to you the Minister for Employment, Workforce Development and Labour, and our MP for Kildonan St. Paul in Winnipeg, the Honourable Marianne Mahaychuk.